If you want to know how to become rich in Adopt Me in 2024, make sure to watch this video because I'm going to be sharing with you how I have got lots of neons and megas and have been growing my inventory successfully in 2024. So for the first tip I'm going to give you about how to get rich really quickly in 2024 is to use the right type of trading values when you're trading. So in my opinion, I would really not use happy values. I think it's the worst type of values to use because even if you really, really want a pet because it's going to make you happy and you really want it straight away, I would not overpay for it because ultimately it's going to decrease the value of your inventory. I would wait until you find someone who's actually going to do a fair trade with you and not make you overpay for that pet. Because if you get it by doing a fair trade, you're going to have the pet you want and your inventory value is not going to be decreased. So I would really recommend just not rushing into overpaying for pets you really, really want and just waiting until you find someone who's going to do you a fair offer. So now I'm going to talk about preppy values and some people don't like preppy values but I think sometimes they can be useful and this is because if you're trading preppy pets sometimes they get a better offer than what they're actually worth because of their preppy value and an example of this I'm going to give is a mega poodle which is out of the cracked egg. So even though the mega poodle is un uncommon if it is a mega form it has a lot of preppy value and it is probably going to get better offers than a mega orangutan would even though that is rare and also out the cracked egg and this is because orangutans don't have nearly as much preppy value as mega poodles do so they're going to get half as many offers as mega poodles do and also as a mega poodle is uncommon it's easier for you to make than a rare mega so i would really recommend making a mega poodle if you're going to make a mega pet out of the cracked egg because it is one of the most preppy pets out of that egg and also i would recommend making megas and neons from limited eggs because they're going to have a lot more value than in-game pets as they're not going to be in the game for a long long time and they're going to leave the game so they're going to have better value than constantly in-game pets and then the other values i'm going to talk about is normal trading values a lot of people use these values because there's a lot of trusted websites. Um, well, some websites are not trusted, but adoptmetradingvalues.gg is one of the most trusted um, adopt me pet value websites that a lot of people use. If you see in a lot of people's names, it says inventory and then a line and then they've got a number and that is the value of the inventory that they have most likely calculated using adoptmevalues.gg because this is the official adopt me trading values website which shows the current demand and the current value of your pets so when you're in a trade in adopt me and you're not sure what the other person's offer is worth you can just look on adoptmevalues.gg to find out what their offer is worth to determine whether you should do the trade or not and the only time you shouldn't do a trade even if they're over is if their pet is really bad in demand because say if you're trading a neon unicorn and they're offering a mega minion check and adopt me trading value says a mega minion check is over i would still probably not do this trade because a mega minion check is not going to get many offers because it is a really bad demand pet compared to a neon unicorn which is really high in demand and are quite easy to trade so don't trade for bad demand pets okay now for tip two so for tip two this is going to be utilize new updates to your advantage for your inventory so i'm just going to give you an example about how i use the new fire dimension update to help me grow my inventory and to help me get good overpay trades and increase the value of my inventory so when the update first came out i bought some of the new robux alaskan baits which go in your lure box which guarantee you one of the new fire dimension pets so as you can see i traded six of them for this neon rag gold horn and a neon rag gold horn is usually worth about six ride potions which is 150 robux each 
but I only traded six of these new baits, which were 80 Robux each, for a Neon Rye Gold Horn. So my offer was worth a lot less than six Ride Potions, so this makes it a really good win for me. And now another trade that I'm going to show you that I did with the new update is I traded one of the new pets and one of the new baits for all these really good pets. And the No Potion Platypus makes this trade a really big win because the platypus is one of the pets from an old egg and then also the ram and the brown springer spaniel have really good preppy value okay so now i'm going to talk about waiting for the perfect trade this is an example of a really good trade for me as a neon fire eye nessie is worth about three neon legendaries but my offer is only worth about two neon legendaries with some of the legendaries such as the golden dragon are not that good in demand so it was a good win for me so for the next tip, I'm going to talk about having a really good grind house. So in my opinion, you should have a really nice, aesthetically pleasing house or whatever style you like. It doesn't have to be preppy if you're not a preppy, but whatever style you are, I would decorate it because then it will make you happy because you'll really like that style and you'll want to grind and make a lot more neons in it. And I would also really recommend adding a boombox to your house because then you can play different songs that you really like in your boombox in your house. So then when you walk into your house, it will be a different song for you to listen to. And you can find Roblox song IDs on YouTube from YouTubers who have posted them. And a lot of them um, do work. So I really recommend doing this if you want to have different music in your house because making neons and megas is a really, really good way to grow your inventory because megas get really good overpays. People want, especially now, megas are really good in value and a lot of people are like mega collectors or neon collectors. So you can really trade your megas for really, really good offers. So the next tip I'm going to give you is to use an alt account when making neons and megas because this will help you make your neons and megas two times faster and it will also help you earn two times or three times bucks so if you can do this i would really recommend doing this because then you will grow your inventory two times faster and this has really really worked for me and has been very very useful so and now for the next tip i'm going to give you it is to be careful when you're trading because as you know a lot of scammers are around and i would never trust people who say they're going to add after because a lot of the time they're going to be lying and because a lot of people are like scammers i mean some people are not and those people are really nice but you can't always tell if they're telling the truth or not so be really careful when you're trading with people who say they're going to add after and when you're doing a trade, I would only really do the trade if it's a small win or a good win for you. Because if it's a fair trade, you're not going to be gaining anything. It's not going to increase your inventory value. But if the other people's pets are better in demand, then do the trade because you'll probably get better offers for their pets and they'll be easier to trade. So that's all for the tips and tricks for how to get rich in Adopt Me Quickly. And these tips have really helped me grow my inventory. So I hope they help you too. And if they do, please consider subscribing and liking this video to help support the channel. And I'm really grateful if you're still watching this video right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Tigers.